Toll gas platform is one of the tallest structures on the planet, rising over 1,500 feet. Engineers constructed it nearly 200 miles away from the gas field where it now stands. It took 10 tugs to ease the half-submerged troll through the narrow fjords. It became the largest object ever moved across the face of the Earth by humans. But it still had to be fixed to the sea floor, almost a thousand feet below the waves. Ballasted with water, Troll weighs more than a million tons. But that still isn't enough to secure it to the seabed. This is where the invention of the air pump, some 350 years ago, comes in. In 1654, a German inventor showed off his new air pump with a demonstration of the incredible power of, well, nothing. Physicist Toby Ferenczi sets out to recreate the experiment for me. This is one of the most famous experiments in the world, isn't it? Absolutely. I'm not being rude. I just expected to see something a bit more obviously scientific. It's very simple. It's just two hemispheres made of solid steel. It looks like cookware. Yeah, basically. There's no mechanical bits inside, no, no. flashing lights. No, 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 no. It'd be great for a ratatouille. Inventor Otto von Guericke wanted to test the role of air in breathing and burning. So he set out to create a vacuum and invented the air pump. To show the Emperor of Germany how well his new pump worked, he started by sucking the air out of a sphere. And this is it, just three parts. Yeah, that's so every it. part is crucial. Right. And then I have to try and get the top piece on top of it. There we go. And then, crucial part of the experiment, the vacuum pump. All it does is suck air. So that's what makes our vacuum in there. Exactly. Okay. Turn it on, and now we're sucking. So this is what's fixing these two hemispheres together, that, pulling yep. the air out. Now in there, there's less air in there than there is out here. To replicate von Guericke's experiment, we need one other ingredient. Horses. Three, two, one, pull! But we haven't got any. We do have football players. And they're here to help me prove that nothing is stronger than a football team. But only if nothing is in the right place. Come on, guys, give it some heave. Oh. Oh. Von Gericke set two teams of horses to try to pull the hemispheres apart. And that's what these football players are going to attempt. Right, I think this should be about ready. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah. There really is nothing in there. We need some blokes, don't we? Right. Can I have the strong men, please? Over here. Time to be strong. Come on. Chaps. Okay, let's have uh, two on that side, two on that side, first of all. I think we'll ramp this up slowly. So if you take the strain. Okay, when we're ready. <clears throat> pull. <sighs> Give it everything you've got, boys. There's nothing in there. This is held together just by the vacuum that we created. Come yeah. on! Look at the faces on them. Come on, boys! Come on. One, two more! Let's get them on! Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Go on, give it some heave! There's nothing in there! Right, let's have the last two on. We've got everybody on now. One, two, three. Oh, now they're getting serious. Come on, you know what's in that sphere? Nothing. I mean, look at the size of this bloke here. That's a big lad, a big strong man, and you're being beaten by nothing. It's true, there is nothing inside the sphere. But because air is a gas, it flows all around the outside of the sphere, creating almost 15 pounds per square inch of pressure against the two halves and pushing them tightly together. That's like holding 150 pounds of weight in the palm of your hand. The only thing that's holding those together is the pressure difference. You have no air inside the sphere, and you have lots of air outside, so the pressure difference is huge. So this is all dependent on pressure difference. It doesn't actually matter what yeah. the absolutes are at either end, but there's more pressure outside than there is inside. Exactly. Come on, lads, give it! Come some. on! Hey, go, boys. Give it. Come on! Come on! Come on. Von Guericke's 16 horses couldn't manage either. 
Okay, guys, right, you can slack it off now. Your time is up. You have been beaten. Let's just get on the end of this thing and have a look, because I just want to do something here, eh? if you're ready. It was easy. One tiny bloke did it when you lot failed, and that is the power of a vacuum. And that's how you keep the trolley gas platform pinned to the sea floor by using nothing at all. My research shows me the trolley designers used a 21st century version of von Guericke's hemispheres to secure the rig to the ocean floor. They did it by fixing a series of suction piles to the bottom of the trolley's legs. Here is my model of the suction piles. Obviously, the real thing's quite a lot bigger than this, about 40 times the length. But this is how they work. Essentially, they're just like an elongated cup, open at this end, and then at the top, the sealed end, an essential piece of kit, there is a tap. And that's what makes it all possible. And here's how it works. Here's my recreation of the seabed. It's a sort of gloopy, gluey mess in texture. Pretty much what it's like. So, if we put it in with the tap closed, so this is just like a cup, the big pile gets lowered and very, very quickly it becomes very hard to push down at all because, well, what's happening, obviously, it's sealed and it's compressing the air in the top of the pile. And there's a lot of air in there to compress and it'll only go so far and then when it's gone in, well, it's all wobbly. It's sitting on a bed of compressed air. However, if we open the tap on the top, suddenly the air can escape. It's not sealed. It just pushes neatly down into the seabed. If we close that tap, it's sealed again. So it's rock solid and steady. And in fact, it won't come out because what you're doing, you've created a pressure differential. And what I'm actually doing now is lifting the seabed out. Well, you can see some of the seabed coming out. There. I can't move it at all. It's become part of the seabed. Open the tap. It can come straight out. That's exactly how it works, only bigger. Troll's 19 suction piles stand 40 yards high and are fully driven into the seabed. 